Hi, this is Mr. Mitchell here to talk to you about a great little project that's going on. Uh, Daniel Ho's vir Worldwide Virtual Ukulele Ensemble for the song Pineapple Mango. Okay, so this is a little information on how to do it. Uh, first thing you need to do is listen to some of this stuff. First, go to www.danielho.com. Okay. Uh, and that's where you'll find a lot of this information. You're going to have to go and find what's it's going to look like the Reno Ukulele Festival, but right under that it's all one big link. You'll see it says be part of the first worldwide virtual ukulele ensemble. You're going to want to click on that. That's going to take you to a page for the site and it's going to have a bunch of information there. You're also going to see some links that say about the project, instructions, and how to submit your videos, okay? I'm not going to talk about the submissions today. We're going to talk a little bit about what's in the instructions. Now, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, first off, there's videos. Dan's got a bunch, Daniel's got a bunch of videos in there on, uh, this, on all the parts you can play along with. There's MP3 downloads, so you can download some MP3s and you can play along with those, put them in your MP3 player practice wherever you go. Uh, there's also a bunch of sheet music down there. Uh, when it says download the music, it's actually talking about downloading sheet music. So those are some things to go in there. If you have not already downloaded the music, go and download the music. It will help you to follow along with what we're going to be doing here today. Once you uh, download the music, you're going to get something that looks like this again. Okay. Uh, this is the first page of it. That's just a header page. You'll see it's $3.99 there. Dan's giving you a nice little set of music for free. Don't let this page scare you, okay? These first, these actually this would be the second page, the third page, and the fourth page are the solo ukulele arrangement. If you're trying to play this, this video is not the one for you. I need to be watching your video. Okay. On the last two pages, the fifth and sixth pages, you'll see it says pineapple mango ukulele accompaniment. And on these, okay, down here, you'll see a bunch of other stuff here. We've got the verse, that's the part one on the video. The chorus, that's part two on the video. The strum, which we're going to be talking about, that's part three in the videos. Uh, finger style, that's part four. Uh, what do we have here? Harmonics, that's part five. And percussion, that's part six. Uh, there's also three videos. If you look in there, there's three videos on the vocals, the the. Uh, for the chorus. There's the regular vocal, a low harmony, and a high harmony. There's also a full video of the three-page arrangement that we played earlier. You can play any part that you want to in the video. Even if you're just playing part of a part, go for it. Get it in there. Get it submitted. Be part of the uh, worldwide virtual music ensemble. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about the rhythm of the song here. And i got to grab a sheet over here. Okay, we're going to start we're going to start working with the strum a little bit here. And and let me show this to you. Now, the strum's got some challenging rhythms. If I look confused, it's cuz my screen is upside down here, kiddos. Uh Okay. So, you'll notice if you have a normal 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and one and two and three and four and counting in there. This can get a little bit tough to try to count everything on this. It's a really quick paced song. So what I've done is I've just kind of highlighted where you're strumming. Uh, first off, if you don't know how to read tab, go and get the tab and read that. Our actual beat here is, and this is a good suggestion from, from Jason Arimoto, don't say the whole one and two and three and four and. You're just going to say the parts that I've highlighted, one and three and 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 three, one and two, oops, one and three, 
and, and, and three, and four, and, and just say those, those parts, the parts you're actually strumming, and that'll make it a little easier for you to go to. Now, this page should be a little bit easier to read right here. Okay, get that on there. You'll see I just have the bottom down here. I just have what we're, we're, we're saying. One, and three, and, and, and three. One, and three, and, and, and three, and four, and, and then it repeats back to the start. Take some practice, but that will help you get the feel for the strum. Just saying the parts, that helps you remind you where you're supposed to be doing it. That does coincide with the music up here if you don't know how to read that. Now, a couple of little tricks in here. And I'll grab a ukulele in a second and show these for you. Okay? So, uh, you'll notice on the G right here, and also on the D over here, we have what's called some hammer-ons. If you look at your G chord, it starts off, uh, let's start down here, zero, two, three, zero. That's not quite it, but you're going to have the zero there, and then you're going to slam on your, your finger onto the two there and make the regular G chord. The same thing is going to happen over here on the D chord. You have your two, two, but you got that open where you usually have it on the second fret and then the zero. You're going to play it with the two, two, zero and then hammer on that, uh, that I guess it would be G, C, E string. Okay? And that's the rhythm for it there. We'll come back to these rhythms in a second. Now, a good idea if you don't know this, don't remember it, pause this for a second, write it down, take your paper out, write down what those beats are, you'll have it for yourself there. Grab a uke here, and we'll show you what we're doing on this a little bit more. I'm sure you're not heartbroken not getting to see my face here. Okay, so here's our normal G chord. You got that little triangle right there. So when we start that on the first measure, you're, the way I make the G, you're actually going to have this finger lifted off. And then when you play the G, you're going to strum it and then slam that finger down, okay? And that's called a hammer-on because you're just hammering it on. And hopefully you can hear it changing a little bit there. And just practice that and you'll get better at it. It'll take a little bit too. It took me a while to learn this strum. I didn't pick it up all on my first try, so... Don't expect to do that. Now on the D, there's a couple of ways you can do it. A lot of people are going to use three fingers here, and then we'll lift up our ring finger, and then we'll just strum it down, and then just slam that down on the E string right there. You see how that finger's coming up? And slam it down. And you can hear that chord changing a little bit there. Now another way to do it that I've been using a lot lately, because it leaves, frees up your fingers to do some other work later, is I'm just going to use my index finger here and that's going to cover these top two strings. It's not going to cover that one and I'm just going to use my middle finger to hammer down here. And I get the same effect. Okay? And again, if you remember it, our beat here that we're going through, got that there. i got to read it to myself here. Let me get this page. It's going to be one and three, and, and, and three, one, and three, and, and, and three, and four, and. Okay, now there's a couple little tricks in here we're going to do. So I'm just going to strum through this really quick here. Dan plays it through a little bit quicker. you got to practice it as tempo, remember. Uh, I should say Daniel, my apologies. Uh, so it's going to be, and I'll go through this really slow. We're going to go down. Hammer it down, up, down, up, and I forgot to mention the chunks. Every third beat on, every time we hit a third measure, or not a third measure, a third beat, we're chunking. If you look at your sheet here, you'll see these little arrows above that. That means chunk. It mentions it in the directions up here. That's going to be a chunk. That is basically a palm mute. So... By chunk, it means you're going to 
strum it and then touch it with your hands really quick here. So let me see if I can get this up in there. You know, you're gonna strum it and then hit it with your hand and let it die out really quick, okay? So again, going through what we got here. The first beat, one, and, two, and, three, and you're gonna chunk it, and, four, and, we've changed to the C, one, and, two, and, three, third beat we're chunking, and, four, and, now you got that D here, whoops, that's the one, hammer down, and, two, and, three, and, four, and now when you come up there on that G, it's not quite the G. If you look at the uh, music that you have here, uh, where do we have that? That one is right here. If you notice, I gotta find it on here. Ah. There we are. Sorry for the delay. We have zero, whoops, zero, two, three, three, instead of our usual zero, two, three, two for the G chord. So what you're gonna do there, okay, again, here's our normal G chord, okay? You're gonna take your pinky here, you're gonna slide it on that third fret, that's where your C is, usually is for the C chord. And the first time you strum up there, you're going to do that. That's going to be the four and, one and, two and, chunk. Now when you come back up, we're going to open up that bottom string here again. And, four, and, one, and then we repeat it again. So, run it through you again. Okay, so, one, hammer down, and chunk, that's the three, change chord to C, and, and, and chunk, that was the three, one, hammer down, and three with the chunk, And remember you got the extra note on the G, the third uh, fret on the bottom string. So that was and for there. Lift that up, and, and chunk, that's a three. Lift up the finger, and four, and one. much walking you through it there. Listen to Dan's video, make sure you do that. Now, some of the other stuff, not too bad to do. Uh, let me find the music here. Let's take a look at the, uh, take a look at this here. Okay, the first part we have here, what do we call it? Uh, the verse, nice little strum here too. Just picking out some chords. If you don't know how to read tab, look how to read tab up online. This is just playing on the one and two and three and four. So that's the one, three, and. Then you rest for a measure. One, three, and. One, three, and. One, three, and. Uh, remember the numbers mean frets. That's going to look something like this. It's going to sound a little different if you have a low G. This is a high G right here. So, open, 4th fret, 5th fret, 7th fret, down a string, 6th fret, 7th fret. Even if you can only play that part, play that part. Second part's a couple of strings on it. And you can either do this, strum both strings down with your thumb really quick, or use your fingers, a couple of fingers at the same time. 
pluck up on them. Whatever's easiest for you to do, do. I'm gonna just strum it down with that. That's a little easier for me to do. So you're just gonna and use these little dots here to help. So it's two, three, five, seven, three, five. So that's gonna be. And then nine and ten. Again, I'm using the little dots there to help me find it. Twelve and eight. Using the dot to help me find it. On some of your sopranos, that's going to be the very bottom fret. So that's twelve eight. And then this is ten seven. Again, the dots help me find it. So it's going to be. And most of you will be able to get that with a little bit of practice. Okay? Let's see what we got next here. Ah, uh, the chorus. Again, we got this counted out for you. It's one and three and four and one and three, four. One and three and four and 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 three, four. So I think I might have messed those ands up in earlier there, but you can deal with that one and one and three and four and 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 three four one and three and four and 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 three four and just pluck that and what you're going to notice here this is basically these are just basically built on your chords now you see Dan has got the chords written out above both of the parts of the music here. That's just lets you know what's going on with the strummers. Okay? And you're going to see if you notice that you're really picking through the chords, exactly what the chords are. The only difference is you're using the third fret on the E string here instead of the A string. That's just another version of a C. We'll talk about that another time. But don't worry about that. You're really picking notes in a C chord there, just a little bit different and you're just picking out the chords. You're not going to have to learn any phys finger positions. If you notice going through that, when I pluck it out here, I got my G on there, and then it's just zero. And then when I change my chord, that opens up that string at the end of that first measure. I add that three there for the C. And then that's just from the D chord, D chord, D chord, D chord, D chord. Go to the G chord and it's open on that zero. And you're just using the chord. Nothing fancy to figure out. That's going to be a good, for a lot of you who haven't picked before, that's really going to help you get used to it there. Come over to the next page. Uh, we've already talked about the strum at the top here. You look at this one, the finger style, again, you're just using the chords. There's nothing new on there. The rhythm's a little bit different. Notice what we got for the rhythm here. Our rhythm, it's for right here, where are we? One, two, and, 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 and four, one, two and 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 four and it repeats so a lot of ands there that's the challenge to get used to that one again you're just using the chords you're not doing any unusual finger shapes you're just picking through the chords you're doing the same hammer-ons that you did in uh, in the line above it uh, a little bit more challenging down here is the harmonics okay nice little direction up there again you got your rhythm down here this one for that it's one and four one and four and it just repeats that the whole way through harmonics if you haven't done them before harmonics are just a way of getting a little different sound from your ukulele and it's always the 12th fret down so I'm gonna come down here to my 12th fret and I put my finger lightly on this and I pluck it and you hear that in Hawaii they call whoops in Hawaii they call those chimes if you're a yes fan you hear that at the start of roundabout and 
what he's doing here too is you're playing you're not just playing just the same note so if, if I go on the open string here I go to the 12th fret and I get my harmonic okay if I put this on the D string I would just have to go 12 frets down so that was down two frets I'd come down two frets here you hold your finger lightly there and you kind of do all the and I had whoops there we go I was on the wrong fret and that takes some practice to get it uh, but that's a nice tricky little piece to learn the chimes there the last part is a little percussion piece down here uh, and again you can do these separately too if you if you want to just lay down the percussion just lay down the percussion you don't have to worry about doing the uh, that there and you'll see on here on this part here they've got these little X's okay the X's are your rhythm this is the rhythm though so that's one two three and 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 two three and and whoops I'm not counting very well one two three and 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 two three and 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 just repeats through like that on there sorry if I got that off a little bit but this little bottom line that's your rhythm there uh, this rhythm here for the hammer-ons that they have you doing on here these are just hammer-ons it's the same rhythm as this line right up here it's one and four one and four uh, that should take you through it. Make sure you listen to the videos that are out there. Uh, if you have any questions, drop me an email or a message on here. I'll get back to you. Uh, good luck. Have fun playing Pineapple Mango. And uh, I hope to see you on the video.